Well, it's been about two and a half hours. The olive jar has been boiling steadily the whole time. And now that it looks like the sulfuric acid in the tray is starting to work too. All the rust has gone off the thing in the tray. There's none on the top. The acid has worked its way up around the top of the bolt and dissolved the whole thing. And I can see that the bolt itself is fizzing around the outside of it. So this one's boiling pretty steadily. I'm going to pick it out of there and we'll get a look at it. I want to check on it to make sure it hasn't dissolved on me. That's baking soda and water, I remember. There's that one. There's this one. <clears throat> Here's the one with vinegar in it. Now the rust is going on that. It's working. It's just not doing a whole lot. The only reason I'm rinsing that off is so that they're all the same. <clears throat> the olive jar stopped boiling as soon as I took the iron out. So evidently it's the iron making it do it. This is the one out of the tray. The edges of the threads are actually sharp. This is the one that's been boiling. That right there is the part with the flats on it. And all the edges are getting sharper. I set the one that's been in the vinegar right next to it. Hard to tell any difference looking through the camera. Put this one back in the vinegar. This is S2, so it goes back in the tray. And this is S1. And it goes back to boiling. I'll give it a, 
another hour or so, we'll come back out and check on it again. At least we're getting some action out of the thing. I was beginning to doubt if it was ever going to do anything. Turns out, if I hadn't found out about the acid and changed the mixture, probably wouldn't have. You can see this guy right here is boiling away too. Okay, we'll come back and check on him later. I think we're making some progress. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.